Our next inductee is Carrie Smith. I am honored to be inducted in the Massage Therapy Hall of Fame, and most of all, I am grateful for a professional life that brings forth such meaning, vitality, and an opportunity to engage with students who seek to become extraordinary teachers. And this was uh, written by Karen and asked me to speak for her. I have been a teacher since 1978 and a trainer of teachers since 1982 in both public and private schools. Over the past 12 years, I have had the absolute joy of training massage therapy educators from all over the country through the Spirit of Learning Teacher Certification Program at the Body Therapy Institute in North Carolina. If we are going to be teachers, we have to be teachers. If we are going to be teachers, we have to be students. I have had and continue to have many teachers. They are part of the ground upon which I stand. Some of them are living, some of them have passed away in recent years, and others were not living in my lifetime. And yet the potency of their life work extended beyond mortal time and touched me in ways that awakened my own life purpose. Teachers and students come from a vast, deep, and long tradition, a lineage of learning. There is no profound dignity in the teaching profession when it is understood as a living transmission. Teachers literally broadcast their knowledge, experience, passion, commitment, and dedication to the next generation of learners so that these students can skillfully carry forward their own expression of what is meant that is meaningful to them. My most, most recent endeavor is in developing and delivering a curriculum for a next generation of teacher trainers who can carry forward the work and infuse it with their own experience, love, and expertise. These individuals are not only excellent teachers, but are also deeply versed in the competencies particular in training. Massage therapy educators as distant from training massage therapy students. The newly founded Center for Somatic Teacher Education is committed to the art and craft of training education. In closing, I have three questions that are shaping the choices I make. What aspects of my work would I like the next generation of teachers and teacher trainers to carry forward? How do I want to be remembered? And once I am forgotten, how will the ways I choose to live, learn, teach, love, echo through time. Thank you.